Hi, my name is Evan Untai, a guide at the Shoots Angler Fly Shop. And today, I want to talk to you about tension as it relates to Euronymphing. Everything in Euronymphing revolves around this concept of tension. Tension allows you to stay in contact with your flies and control your drift, getting one of the best presentations you could possibly get subsurface. But if you don't have tension on the entire system, you lose that control and you're going to find you're hanging up a lot and getting frustrated. So, we're going to do a three-part series on how to build and maintain tension throughout the drift. The hardest part of tension is from the moment the flies touch the water and through the drift until it gets to about you. Getting control on the front end of the drift is quite difficult and will take practice. Uh, slack develops very quickly uh, and so you have to be able to manage that slack as it develops and maintain a certain level of contact with your flies throughout the drift. The very first and most important thing when it comes to developing tension is what happens the moment the flies touch the water. I make the cast, the flies hit the water, now what do I do to keep that tension? There are two key components to maintain tension and build tension right at the front of the drift. The first thing is to make sure that you don't leave the rod pointed in the direction of the cast. And by that I mean you go to make your cast like you were dry fly fishing, the fly hits the water and you leave the rod pointed at where your flies are. If you do that, you're going to see that slack develops very quickly. If I make the cast and they hit the water and I leave it pointed, you can see that the leader just goes instantly into slack. Slack. Just immediately slack develops because the flies are being pushed back towards me and there's no way of controlling that, just instantly getting slack if I leave the rod pointed at my target. So, to sort of fix that problem, the, what you have to do is slightly move the rod to the right of your intent, or downstream I should say, of where the flies land. So right as the flies hit, I move the rod downstream, and you can see that my leader now has quite a bit of tension on it. Up, gently move right, and now I've got that tension on the leader, which means I'm gonna have good control right on impact which is really important because you're going to find that you're going to catch a lot of fish in the first six inches to a foot of the drift if you have tension and you can be able to detect that strike. The second component to making sure that your, your front end of your drift has tension and is under control <coughs> is to make sure that the rod is in the appropriate position to fish. And by this I mean the height that the rod tip is going to be off the water. Once the rod tip is at the height it's going to be at, once the flies touch the water, we want to keep that rod tip at that height. So establishing what that height is and where the rod tip should be is super important to making sure that the front end of the drift is executed properly. If I take the rod and I cast and I leave the rod tip pointed down, you can see that immediately I got a bunch of slack. Bring the rod tip down, slack. The only way to alleviate that is to lift up. And of course, when I lift up, my flies follow it, which creates a lot of bounce, and it just tells the fish, hey, these flies aren't real. So we want to make sure that the rod tip is in the position it's going to fish as soon as those flies touch the water. I'm moving slightly right and I've got the rod tip angled up and out across the river at the height that I'm going to fish it at. <clears throat> now sometimes you may encounter wind and different things like that where you have to bring the rod tip down and that is totally fine. You can bring the rod tip down as long as you get the rod tip back up into the position you want to fish it at before the flies touch the water. I can bring my rod tip down and then back up before the flies touch the water. I'm coming down and then back up before the flies hit the water. So that my right rod tip always ends up in exactly the same position that it's needed to fish at. And those two things right there are gonna make all the difference in building that initial tension right out of the gate. And you're gonna find you're gonna catch lots of fish in that first foot to two feet of the drift where you normally would have had slack and now you've got control. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Have a great day.